So this video is simple. I want to um, say shame on the NBA. It's quick and to the point. Now, got these jerseys here. Custom. This by far was the best custom made jersey in its day. Of course, the numbers are worn off, but this jersey was worn, it was used. This is a good jersey. I love this jersey. The jersey. This was the jersey I dropped, bought just recently. And I, I explained in the video how the guy couldn't get my name to go across for some reason on the machine. So he had to do it like this. It gives it like a rainbow effect. I'm like, okay, that's okay. I'll just deal with it fine. You know, it's almost like hair on the head of number 99. See it like two eyes? You got the hair sweeping up. You see it? Then in the front, there's no number in here. There's no number. And this is getting, I didn't care about this jersey. This has got a burn on it already, a burn hole on it. But it doesn't have no number on the front. So I complained about that. And they said, well, we can't take it back because it's custom. This is like $110 at the stadium. Screwed up on the back, but it's acceptable. No number on the front. So, this time after we won the championship, I go ahead and say, I'm going to buy another jersey. Look at that. Perfect. Beautiful. Perfect. You get to the front of the jersey, number 99. But the number is not in the right spot. The number should be over here and not above the bridge. Now, when you make these jerseys, have them custom made, you can look at the jersey before you buy it. And you go ahead and click buy, and then you buy the jersey. Now, looking at the jersey before I bought it, the jersey looks wonderful. The jersey looks beautiful. 90 bucks at the door. I bought a $40 banner the same day, you know. I love my team. The problem is this. When they stress for you, only, and I repeat, only buy authentic. And every single time I've bought authentic, something has been wrong. The very first jersey I bought, not the first, this isn't the first one I bought, but the first real custom jersey I bought. I bought this from the stadium. See the side view? I bought this from the stadium. And I loved it. Because it looks exactly like the jersey that I saw drawing up. You know? So that's why this is my favorite jersey. But for a group of people to tell you to buy authentic, and then you do buy authentic, and then you have the authentic, and then all of a sudden, it looks fake. Nobody wants fake. If I wanted non-authentic, I would have bought non-authentic. Now, I'm forced to buy non-authentic. I want to go to Mitchell and Ness or any place that can do a custom jersey. Friend of mine had a regular, simple David Lee jersey. And it's a basic, basic, basic jersey. What he went and did, he took it to a place that had the outline of the numbers fixed. So when you look at his jersey, it looks fixed. You know, this outline of the front, fixed. Everything is fixed. And it looked like the authentic jersey. One more thing with this jersey is this color right here. This is yellow. Yellow, yellow. This color on here, 
gold. Yellow or yellow and gold. Two different colors. But this is the yellow and black though. So maybe that's why it's yellow. But once again, when you look on the rendering, this is gold and black. Reminds you of Pittsburgh Steelers code and yeah. So this is the new jersey. I'm not happy with it. But because it's a custom jersey, you can't get a refund and you're stuck with it. Not everybody can afford these jerseys. Not everybody has a commitment to a team that they really care about. And when people do like certain teams or whatever, they rush out and buy jerseys with this guy's name on it, that guy's name on it, and then the next season, or you know, a couple seasons down the road, that guy's traded. And he's your number one player, and now he plays for your team's number one enemy. How does that work? You still sport the jersey with some player's name on it, and these players will never sport your jersey. So I decided long ago, I retired my Penny Hardaway my Timmy Hardaway jersey. I got rid of my Mullins. You know, my Bimbo Coles. You know. I've had these jerseys. My Minute Bowl. You know, so looking at all of the jerseys I've had, of all the players I've liked, from Agent Zero, you know, to Antoine Jameson, for all the players that played on my team, from the 12th Freeway, you know, the greatest player of all time, Will Chamberlain. All those players go from team to team. But number 99, he never gets traded. He never goes out and checks the free agency. See if another team needs a fan. When his team is not even making the playoffs, he still roots for his team. Number 99 of the Golden State Warriors. Hayden. Upper deck. Seat 213 or whatever. Row, row 213, seat 106. Center, the mid deck, whatever you want to call it. Sideline. Every seat I've ever sat in in that stadium. That's my place on the bench. So. I want to say shame on the NBA. Shame on you. You tell somebody to buy authentic, they buy authentic when they can't get their money back. And somebody says, well, if you're not going to buy the jerseys from the team store, you're not going to buy them, you know, from the stands anymore, then where are you going to go? I told you there's a few places you can go. But some places won't do your name. Some places won't do your number. You'll go get a jersey and it'll be like this one. Oh, we don't have a number for 99 in the front. Then it means you have to up your game. It means you got to go somewhere and get a more expensive jersey. It means you have to go non-authentic. This is so it's wrong. And I got to deal with somebody else's mistake. If this was somebody else, maybe Justin Dreber or what his name is, Schemer, Beamer, Bieber, Beamer. Maybe if it was Beamer's jersey, they'd have got the number right. You know, 
maybe it's a Floyd Money Mayweather number MM for massive money. Maybe they got the two M's correct on there. Maybe they did right. But I'm a regular guy. I'm a regular guy. A poor slob who scrapes up $99 to buy a jersey with his name on it. How dare he want to represent from where he represents. Let's make him look like he bought it from the street. I have seen more fancier, more brilliant t-shirts and hats on the catwalk at the Oakland Coliseum than any, any store in any mall that's authentic. They had the We Believe t-shirts before they had We Believe t-shirts in the stadium. They had Warriors come out to play with the Bay Area on the background before they had it in the stadium. But they still don't have that. They got the best looking jerseys coming from people's minds who goes home and prints it out and puts it on a t-shirt. Then they wait for people to go to the game and then they sell them their wares. I had an idea to buy these uh, brims. You know that little black hat you see me wear every now and then in the video? I was going to buy 30 of them and have the Warriors logo placed on them. And then, you know, the hats were $2.49 a piece and the logos were $1.37. I'm going to have them put together and sell the hat for $25 a piece at the game. Because they're nice hats. You put the Warriors logo, the giant A, Raid as. But it's not authentic. I get in trouble. Because you look at the hat. Look at the quality of the hat. Look, the logo is slightly crooked. We would have never sanctioned anything like that. But you have a computer program put together a jersey perfectly. And then somehow someone mails this one. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. I'm a dumb motherfucker. You won't get me a third time. Two out of three. You won't get me a third time. Look at that weird. See that weird glare? It's like a piece of plastic. On my lens here. Yeah. See it right there? See that glare? This is like a covering. Shame on you, NBA. Shame on the NBA store. Somebody spends good money on something. And I emailed them. Then they asked me, would I recommend them for anybody else? Does this sound like a recommendation? Honestly. They asked me to do a survey. I didn't fill out the survey. I'm just going to be this. This is your survey right here. Of how the NBA treats people who don't sit in the front row at the game. You guys have been choosing. 